Hey guys, so this is my next kind of Halloween fancy dress tutorial. It's like a Modelfi fairy makeup. And yeah, so I've already put primer potion on this eye. And I've, yeah, there it is. Okay, so I'm using a Barry M Dazzle Dust. I think it's number 15, but it's kind of pretty certain it's 15. Anyway, it's pale green colour, so you can tell I've had it for a while because it's quite empty. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and then up into the lid because I find the lid so much easier to work from than a pale full of product. And we're just going to apply that all over the lid. Okay. okay. Then I'm just going to do a very light crease colour. It's not going to be anything hugely different from that. I'm just going to use Graffiti from Urban Decay. The actual eyeshadow itself here is pretty simple. Nothing too dramatic. So you barely even need to blend those two, so that makes this so much easier. Blend out the edges a little, and then just do whatever highlight colour you want. I'm going to do pink opal because I like it. <laughs> just done it a bit heavier there than I did last time. Okay, okay. So now we get to the slightly more interesting bit. I'm going to use my 210. Oh, forgot that. Yeah as a liner brush and I've just realised I've put the palette away. Oh. I was going to use my Barry M red and then I thought no I'm going to use that one out of the 88 palette because it's a bit of a deeper red. And we're just going to use that to do the liner and the kind of creepery vines. So I've just scraped a little bit out of my nail onto, well a lid actually. It could be fancy and call it a palette but it is just a lid. Um, and I've got it wet and so we're just going to use that as normal liner first. And I hate doing liner on camera, so. Just however you normally do your liner. Yeah. Try and even them up and then get to the outside. It's just however you want to draw the vines, draw the vines. To be honest, they probably don't even need to be even, but I'm fussy and I like them being I like my eyeliner being even even when I'm doing stuff like this. So just start drawing Oh, well, I'm doing it I've got one up and then I'm gonna do one I'm just coming down off of that. that and then I'm going to do a downward branch of it starting in from the corner of the eye again there and bringing it down except I flicked out on the other side and I've just brought it down on this side oh well And one more. Okay, so you've got them. And then I'm going to take, this is my Urban Decay Wonder Brush. It's just any, any brush you would like for drawing detail work. And we're going to add the leaves to the vines. So I'm just using graffiti again, getting it a little bit wet. One, a bit, I put, loaded it up in the brush and then just dipped the edge of the brush in a tiny bit of water and then at the end of each point I'm just going to do a line up and one on either side just like that so, I know it looks quite bad but um yeah I'm thinking more ivy than anything else for anybody that's making funny comments and just do that on 
each of the ends you've got. Okay, see this side is easier to see because it's not wet, so it's not caught catching the light quite so much. Okay, so that's actually pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just going to put on my normal mascara. Okay, so the first time I ever done this, I actually had my hair dyed bright red. And what I done was I filled my brows in with a red pencil and it looked really cool. So if you're lucky enough to have red hair and you want to do something like this, give fill in your brows with a red pencil, give it a shot. It looks so yeah. Cause it's a fairy, you might look otherworldly, so that's just another thing that makes it look more weird. Okay, so cheeks. I'm not gonna do rosy cheeks. I'm kinda gonna contour, but I want my contour to have a ready shade, so I'm going to start on my normal one, whatever you normally use for contouring, and work it on. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't pull faces. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of that red. This, by the way, sorry, is Urban Decay's Deluxe Shadow in Sting, which I love so much more as a blusher than anything else. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that out a bit. I'm going to take any excess product off first. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I was actually going to use my Slim Shine and Assertive for my mouth, but I can't find it. <laughs> so, yeah. I did go and put on a feel Lays and Fruit Cake, but I found it was too pinky and it didn't look right. So, any lip products you have that has a kind of brownie colour looks quite good with this. Because that's what I done last time and I just can't find it. Anyway, so, yeah. That's a really, really, really quick, easy look for this. Um, well, I suppose it depends on how how comfortable you are with drawing eyeliner and stuff. So, yeah. For here, if I was going to do Woodland Theory, um, I'd probably have it a bit messy. Maybe put it pleats the night before with hair mousse and then brush it so it went a bit bushy. Um, yeah. Maybe have some leaves in it. Just go to craft store and get some and pin them in. Yeah, that's pretty much all, all I do. I mean, nobody knows what they actually wear. They're not real, so you can do whatever you want. That's what's so fun about Halloween and stuff like this. If you say you're dressing up as a character from a film, then people know what they look like, so... But yeah, if you want to be a woodland fairy, you can do what you want. You can claim they have pink skin. Anyway, I'm rambling and probably sound really weird, so I'm going to go and have a shower. And then come back and put on really boring normal makeup and go to work. Bye, guys.